Carson, and this, this is Sports, Sports Recap. Recap. Last Saturday, there was a basketball tournament in the world. We will be recapping that. The 7th grade A team boys won against Wallace with a score of 37-4 to fours and some great plays by Alex Cassidy and Bryson Groth, but sadly lost against the 8th grade Mullen team with a score of 39-9. to nine. The 7th grade girls won against Lakeside with a score of 22-21, to 21, but sadly lost their second game against Genesis Prep with a score of 22-9. to nine. The 7th and 8th grade B team lost against Mullen with a score of 50-0, to zero, but won against Wallace with a score of 27-10. to 10. Last Tuesday, there was a basketball game in St. Mary's, and the AT boys lost with a score of 25-15. to 15. And the girls won with a score of 23-22. to 22. Sarah Gloin had the game-winning shot with an assist by Ella Regina. This is Braden and Carson, and, and that was the Sports, sports Recap. recap. Destiny Hurt. Here, here at Jordan Miller, Assistant Manager of Carousel Gas and Tire Finance. So th for this week we will be interviewing Jordan on his job. So Jordan, what is your, how long have you been working? Uh, about four years now. So what is, like what brought you into this business industry? Uh, well, I never really worked on cars and then I started here and then I just got more experience and started doing more and more and then finally it led me up to being assistant manager. So what is the hardest thing about your job? The hardest thing is trying to find what the problem is and then solving it's not the issue, it's trying to find the issue because you got a bunch of different moving parts on the front end. Um, and then all these different people you gotta work with, you gotta, you know, coincide with their needs and wants. So that that that's part of it there. So. so well, how is my dad doing as your manager? He's doing a good job. He, he's fun to work with. Uh, you get to work with a bunch of new people. Um, all the customers bring in the joy and the fun of the job because you're seeing the same faces every day and. You get to talk to them and see what's new. That's cool. So, what would you get? What advice would you give to young, young students and young adults that want to do something like you do, or just to go, to, to help them in the real world? Uh, I'd say just start off small. I mean, changing tires. Like, if you got a flat, then change the spare. Little things like that help your dad. Do the brakes in the driveway. Um, job shadow and kind of learn that way. Watch YouTube. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Jordan, yeah, for your welcome. time. Yeah. Hello, KMS. This is Student Staff Interviews with Marlene Nevaeh. Today we will be interviewing Ms. Walker and Bodhi Zabo. Hi, Bodhi. Uh, are you ready for your interview? Yes. So, are you ready for the seventh grade? Yes, I am. What, why are you so ready? because I can't wait to play more football with my friends and this year maybe our coach will get teach us some better things with our football and I can't wait for wrestling. Okay, that's all for Bodhi, now on to Marley. Okay, Ms. Walker, what's your thing about the sixth graders? The sixth graders. Why? Because they're cotton-headed mini muggins. I love cotton-headed mini muggins. <laughs> This is Animal Facts with Peyton and Cam. Did you know that crocodiles cannot stick out their tongue? Avengers, wool out. I'm cooked to the deep. Come back for next week's fact. Welcome to the weather report of the week. I'm Brooke and I'm Kiki. Next week, we start off with a most sunny day at about 17 degrees Fahrenheit. There's also a 5% chance of snow during the day and 14% chance during the night. In the middle of the week, it's going to get cloudier and have winds of 4 miles per hour. Then there's a 16% to 49% chance of snow. Later, 
in the week, the temperatures rise to about 30 degrees. The chance of snow goes up to a 60 degrees, 60%. And while we're enjoying the chilly weather, the southern hemisphere has temperatures of 60 to over 100 degrees. Besides Antarctica, where the temperatures not only dip below freezing, way So stay warm and come back next week for more weather reports. Or else, I'm Brooke. And I'm Kiki. And that's all. See ya! <laughs> Howdy, KMS. Welcome back to the joke of the week, eh? Me and Dalen. Oh, it be here. Yeah, 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 that's right. So I'm gonna tell you all the story, all right? A story, all right? Dalen, you wanna hear a story? No. Oh. All right, then, Dalen. All right, so there was this time, all right? It's time back long ago. Not too long ago, but it was back long ago when my dad, he done came home from work, all right? All right? All right. And he's on me ro in front of the fire, all right? Mm -hmm. Now, this was a problem with my dad because we didn't have no done fireplace. Your dog go. Anyway. Hi, I'm Piper. And I'm Brooke. And this is Weekly, Weekly Trivia, Trivia Questions. Questions. We're going to ask you a question. You can drop our parents at the office during advisory. And only advisory. And no Googling answers. Because if you do, your answer will go straight to the trash can. Now for the question How old was Luke Skywalker in the first Star Wars movie he appeared in? The first Star Wars movie, aka Star Wars The New Hope, came out in 1977. The movie features Luke Skywalker teaming up with Obi-Wan Kenobi, Chewbacca, Han Solo, R2-D2, and C-3PO in order to save the galaxy and save Princess Leia from the evil Darth Vader. How old was he then? Think you got it correct? We shall see, and again, I'm Brooke. And I'm Piper. And, and this was Weekly Trivia questions. questions. See ya! Alrighty, KMS, welcome to the upcoming events with Owen, Paige, and Finn. Upcoming sports events, the 7th grade basketball teams are going to have a game against Bonners. Home on Tuesday, January 31st. Plan on going. Make sure to cheer for our teams. The 7th grade basketball team also has a game against Timberlake away from home on Thursday, February 2nd. Good luck, guys. And it shucks. The high schools are having a winter formal tomorrow. Have fun, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Come back next week for upcoming events in February. Yeehaw! Why? So that's one of your guys' mess ups. Yep.